Former President Jimmy Carter called the New Baptist Covenant celebration in Atlanta in early 2008 the most momentous event in my religious life. For the first time in more than 160 years, he went on to say, we are convening a major gathering of Baptists throughout an entire continent without any threat to our unity caused by differences of race, geography, politics, or the legalistic interpretation of Scripture. In addition to Jimmy Carter, Bill Clinton, and Al Gore, speakers at the event included David Goatley, Executive Secretary of the Lot Carey Baptist Forum Mission Convention, William Shaw, President of the National Baptist Convention USA, and pastor of White Rock Baptist Church in Philadelphia, best-selling novelist John Grisham, Republican Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa, Marion Wright Edelman, founder of the Children's Defense Fund, Tony Campolo, prominent author and teacher. Julie Pennington Russell, pastor of First Baptist Church, Decatur, Georgia. Joel Gregory, professor of preaching at Truett Seminary at Baylor. David Satcher, former U.S. Surgeon General. And Charles Adams, pastor of Hartford Baptist Church in Detroit. A few weeks following the meeting, follow-up evaluation meetings were held and suggestions discussed for ongoing networking and service opportunities connected with the New Baptist Covenant. In 2009, several regional New Baptist Covenant celebrations were held across the country. At this point in early May 2011, planning is underway for a second national New Baptist Covenant celebration to be held this coming November. During the 2008 celebration, Program Chairman Jimmy Allen stressed that for the New Baptist Covenant to be a success, it must be more than a, just a moment in time, and it must evolve into a movement. Whether that happens in the long term is still in question, but it is certainly critical that Baptists find a way to maintain the covenant's focus on Baptist unity in carrying out the Luke 4 mandate.